And happy Wednesday. You're getting the second part of a very, very unprecedented event on my YouTube channel. Usually, I only do unboxings, demos, and what did Kurt learn this week on Tuesday? But I did Sabretooth yesterday, and I got some stuff today. It seems that Stratomatic, our friends at Stratomatic, you know them, the ones that can't seem to hire a good website manager so that your information is actually, I don't know, secure when you order something. Yeah, that's the one. Well, that company has decided to unleash a barrage of products in the 2021 calendar year. And this is the first one that I have decided to bite on hook, line, and sinker and risk all of my financial information, indeed, my financial future, just by purchasing. It is the 1969 Super Advanced set of baseball cards. What do you get with the set? Well, the first thing you get, of course, is the ballpark effects chart. And on the back side, the weather effects chart for both the National League and the American League. Second thing you get is the traditional Stratomatic roster sheet. You know, the thing that APA can't be bothered to print anymore because, well, it's good for you. All right. And then here is the set of cards. This is your uh, Stratomatic set of cards for the 1969 baseball season, which is one of my, has turned out to be one of my weaknesses in terms of purchases for a uh, cards and dice game season to try out. And so when this one was thrown out there, I actually own, not that you care. I don't, I don't think for a minute that you care. But back when Stratomatic released the advanced and basic version of the 1969 cards, back then, uh, I purchased that set, that first version of a reprint set from Stratomatic back in... When would that have been? The mid-80s? Something like that? And so um, that was, I think, I want to say, the first old card set reprint set that I purchased. I didn't purchase 1956, and I didn't purchase 61 at that time, but I did... Um, do 69 and I owned that for many years and then I wasn't using it so I sold it uh, but the uh, the set was a good one I liked it and I used it a lot and then I stopped using it and then I thought why not sell it so there I was um, and this came in my email announcing that there would be a sale uh, that had these available, the super advanced version, which I may have also bought. Again, I don't think for a minute that you care, but I may have also bought it back in the day when the super advanced version was released. I don't really remember. Um, not sure, but the uh, email came the other day and this was announced that it was available and so I was all in. I was all in. Um, maybe an impulse buy, I don't know. Uh, but I'm thinking I'm gonna use it a fair amount and I have to figure out a way to get it on my channel. Now, I don't want to alarm you, but for those of you that have been paying attention to this, the quality of the Strat paper that they've been using in recent years, let me just tell you, 
1969 Super Advanced set is not the opportunity that they took to thicken the paper, because it's not. It's not thick, it's really thin. It's, I don't know. I don't know what, what this would be. I guess two ply or something. Um, but it's thin. So when you do your separation of your cards, make sure that you are being careful and not just willy-nilly ripping and tearing. Because if you do that, there's going to be Heartbreak City. Because you're going to rip right through Gary Roggenberg like he's standing still. So, uh, watch that when you do your own personal unboxing. Uh, the card uh, numbers themselves, these are not, uh, just in a quick look at the uh, roster sheet, do not expect that you're going to be getting every player involved in the season in this set, because you're not. Uh, the range of players printed per set would be, would go from a low, I would say, of Baltimore. Uh, 14, 26 players, looks like. Uh, to a high of Seattle being, um... Thirty-two, thirty-three players, something like that. So it's a range. You're not getting every player that actually appeared for the team in that season. Uh, okay, and so without further ado, let's take a look at a couple of the teams uh, that you might be interested in. Uh, taking a quick look at the cards so that you see what you might get. Let's do that right now. Here are your 1969 Baltimore Orioles. Frank Bertina, Dick Hall, Davey Johnson, Pete Rickert, Andy Etcheberin, Marcelino Lopez, Eddie Watt, Paul Blair, Mike Cuellar, Elrod Hendricks, Boog Powell, Dave Leonard, Dave May, Kurt Moulton, Jim Palmer, Merv Rettenmund, Frank Robinson, Tom Phoebus, Brooks Robinson, Don Buford, Jim Harden, Bobby Floyd, Mark Belanger, Dave McNally, and Clay Dalrymple. And last but not least, Chico Simone. Those are your 1969 Baltimore Orioles. Here come your 69 Cubs. Then we're gonna do the pilots, and that's gonna end our preview. The 69 Cubs, Bill Hands, Jimmy Qualls, Phil Regan, Ken Rudolph, Don Kessinger, Fergie Jenkins, Jim Hickman, Glenn Beckert, Bill Heath, Ernie Banks, 
Ted Abernathy. Don Young. Billy Williams. Dick Selma. Al Spangler. Paul Popovich. Nate Oliver. Randy Hundley. Hank Aguirre. Willie Smith. Ken Holtzman. Oscar Gamble. And Ron Santo. Those are your 1969 Cubs. And here come the Pilots. And that will conclude our preview, our unboxing. Gary Roggenberg. Marty Patton. Steve Barber. Mike Marshall. George Brunet. Or Brunette. Or Blonde. Or Redhead. Just kidding. Ron Clark. Jim Pagliaroni. Gene Brabender. Dick Simpson. Wayne Comer. Jim Boughton. Danny Walton. Don Mincher. Diego Segui. Gus Gill. Merritt Renew. John Gelnar. Rich Rollins. Steve Whitaker. Bob Meyer. John Donaldson. And Tommy Davis. And that'll conclude our unboxing of the 1969 Stratomatic Super Advanced set that they just made available via email that could be in your spam folder. Uh, thank you for joining me, and I'll be doing some stuff with this set in the days and weeks to come. So subscribe to my channel and watch for the 69 set to make an appearance very soon. I uh, hope you have a good day. My name is Kurt Berglund. Thank you so much for joining me. So long, everybody.